guys are back here for another episode of X-Men Evolution. So we got season two, episode 13, Walk on the Wild Side. This episode, we had a retreat with Beast, you know, his little conflict of accepting himself as immune because he still sees himself as like a normal human. I'm not this beast, this is me. It's who you are. So he had a, uh, Charles thought of this brilliant idea. Well, Kitty, uh, this idea to go on a retreat, you know, get him in the, where he can be himself, where he can go freely, he doesn't have to hide. And we got a bunch of side X-Men. Which I love. We got Sunspot, I believe. A Wolfsbane. Iceman. Thank you. I love more episodes with them. But the conflict there when they were on the retreat. Hunters. Only two of them though. Surprisingly, the others. There was a group of them. But the others were actually smart. And they were just there like to observe wildlife. You know? These two? No. They were ready to take down anything they needed to. Uh, so they got what was coming to them. Now. Melt them together. If this doesn't work, I'm not taking the blame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is this? <laughs> the professor wants me to remind you. Amara can't be late for her first day of high school. I got it covered. Listen, we're just finishing up her last training exercise. Amara? She's 14 in the X-Men? Now I know why they don't go on missions. Don't worry, I'll keep us safe. <gasps> Amara, melt that boulder back into place. Well, I'll try. Huh? <sighs> not that aim. It's okay, we all make mistakes, you know. Got it. You guys okay? God, what'd you do that for? God, what is what's your damn problem? No need for thanks. That's what we heroes do. Rescue damsels in distress. Bro, you're not what? blind, right? You just shoot lasers. But what did I do? Tell me. Alright. You were being a a guy. Whoa. Don't group me up with him. I was trying to teach you guys how to handle things that go wrong, which nice, did mom. not include looking for a big, strong man to save you. I thought it was more of a problem because you guys had it under control and you just shot a beam and it blasted in front of your face. That's what I would have been heated about. Damn, Scott. Man, I take one shower a month and still I get no privacy. One a month? Here. Diabolical. See, I would live with the X-Men no matter what. I don't care about Danger Room. I'm not living in that dump. Be sure and sit by a window. You can watch the track team sweating. Trust me, it's worth it. Well, ciao. I was Boom Boom in this clap. Oh wait, Boom Boom's the same age, right? Cool, we got first period together. How's life at the Geek Squad? Okay, I guess. Jean's been pushing me too fast, and even though I tell her I'm not ready, she's toe to toe with them then, huh? Jean. Yes, that's my real color. Forget her, Amara. How about you and me after school? We'll get in touch with our shallow teenage values. <laughs> that sounds like fun. All right. Scott, I need to borrow your car. Amara's with Boom Boom. What? I want to stop her before she does something stupid. Gotcha. I'll go get her. Uh, not that you're not capable of doing it yourself, which you are. I ain't got time. I know you didn't. It's just that, well, it bugs me to always be treated like the weaker sex. In broad daylight is crazy. Follow the laws. Huh? Don't even wave. You know you're in trouble. See, I can't even tell who the villains are right now. Because we could have gave that car back to, you know, the young man that, you know, probably needs it in his life. To memory wipe them. Huh? <laughs> this ain't good. <laughs> I'm with your brother. I'm sure the owner will be real grateful. That's what Let's I'm saying. 
Like if I'm seeing you guys in the street, I, I'm asking for a check. Of a larger car theft ring operating in Bayville. Uh, listen, I a whole ring? To ourselves, you know? Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like we'll be doing anything like that again. Exactly. Is that foreshadowing? I'm just your sweet next door neighbor. What's going on? Eddie, don't join them. <laughs> oh, Charles. Charles is... He tossing and turning in his sleep. <laughs> At least you guys aren't wearing the X-Men symbol. Do we blame Scott for all this? Because I've noticed more in season two, they're more reckless with their powers. Like, they're, they're showing them all over the place. Yeah, you trying to join the girl group too? Just a few short days, Bayville, Bayville Siren. Cut in half. All due to I mean, that's good. Group of cut in half is crazy. Fighters. We have no choice but to put a stop to their vigilante activities. True, I learned a little tidbit that it, they stop the crimes. It doesn't matter because they can't charge the people because they don't know what they're charging them for. Yeah, the main characters, the slow mo and everything. That's cool. Some people are even saying they have special powers. Yep, Scott. What? What we do, Scott? We snitching? I didn't do it. Kurt, cancel your plans for tonight. We got a little secret mission to take care of. Hey, the duo back in town. Scott and Kurt. Obviously forgot people had powers, but Blue Boy to Tracker One. Can you read me? Blue boy. Pigeons are leaving the roost. Kurt, I'm right here. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> hmm. Scott. Maybe don't have your car out. Uh ladies, we've got company. Not for long. <laughs> Kitty, phase us through. No, no, no. It's okay. Kurt can teleport the car on the other side. <laughs> what? Kurt! Bro, this place is almost as bad as Gotham. Yeah, my car was just stolen. But guess who's already on the job? Yeah, you got it. The sirens. So, so why call in the police? Look. Is this the the car ring? Look at this whole operation here. Then this must be the base for the car theft ring. Glad you could join the Oh, where'd he come from? It's a trap. That is so weak. Yeah, you see you, siren. That is so weak. Kitty MVP of the episode. I'm calling it now. Hi. Damn, we're not even using power. I can go on missions. This is what this is teaching me here. Yo, 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 you don't blow the place up. You hear that? It sounded like an explosion. Where'd you guys get your suits from? Kurt, I know you had yours on, but come on, what are we waiting for? No, wait. I think we better let the girls handle this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the life of being a criminal. Girl power. Oh, we gonna know about this. All right, fun's over. The building is surrounded. There's no way out. You're vigilantes who take the law into your own hands, and you're under arrest. Oh yeah? If you know who we are, then you know to stay out of our way. No. <laughs> are you threatening the police? Looks like you put an end to their little enterprise. Good work. I'm gonna let you go. Really? Cool. But only Why? if you promise to stop what you've been doing. And I mean now. Thanks. Uh, by the way, their boss is in the trunk. Chief, no sign of those vigilantes. Hmm. Well, 
We'll get them next time. Oh yeah, for sure, next time. Of course, it was Mystique. <laughs> Here, you take half. The symbolism so, uh, there. <laughs> thanks for not coming to the rescue. I guess we took the whole girl power thing a little too far. Little? <laughs> for sure, half the city knows about mutants. Yeah. But you know, it did feel great to help people with our powers. I just hope someday we can do it out in the open. Alright, great little episode, not gonna lie. Obviously, I was rocking your video with some boom boom. Oh, I hate you, boom boom. You, you dare call our our boys, our homegirls, trash, geeks, or whatever, losers, just for what? Training for what you wanna do? <laughs> you obviously wanna fight crime, but just because they train for it, you're like, eh, you're losers because you had to train. Man, you put the brotherhood, man. You guys don't even have working. I'm shocked you actually you got working plumbing. I don't know how that, how you guys are doing that. Don't you disrespect Jean Grey. <laughs> no. That's a, you off the table for that. Scott, I don't know if it was really a challenge, but overcoming his, I would say, stupidity in the first, you know, part of this story. Anybody would have been mad. Man, woman, alien. Uh, If you blew up a rock in front of my face, I'm I'm heated. You know, literally, like, Scott, <laughs> I don't care if you thought I was going to get crushed by that boulder. <laughs> you shooting a beam my face just set 27 different boulders into my face. The thought process there wasn't good. But yeah, I like the little ragtag, little ragtag team of girls or whatever. I like they had their little the sirens or whatever, their own force. I appreciate that. Them using their powers willy-nilly is where like, because I know how hard Charles is fighting to keep this under wraps. Because you don't understand how bad this would be if everybody, like the world just found out about mutants. People will be tossing and turning. If you imagine you're a mutant at a school, you're not at Charles' school. Just, you know, in the middle of nowhere, like Montana or something. People are figuring out mutants. You're one of them. Who's helping you? Who's going to help you, bro? You're going to get bullied. Even worse, you might be targeted. We need to calm down. If they're fighting crime without their powers, which they could do. Like, we all saw them use their hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're good. They don't need powers. But they were just like, oh, yep, I have powers. Like, that's the only part I didn't like. Everything else, like, oh, you guys fighting crime? Oh, they do that. I could care less, you know? Sucks is only like a one-time thing. Like they're never gonna do it again. I would have been cool to see them in like future seasons. Like they pull it, they would have to pull out the sirens, you know, just to do some, some secret work or whatever. Well, maybe they still could, you know, who never knows, you know, plug. Hopefully they do. But yeah, great episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll appreciate it. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. It helps about that helps me out. Catch you guys next time for another video. Peace, peace, bye bye. Have a great day. Got it.